guys, what's up? It's Mike. It's Jasmina. It's Jeff. Let's talk about this story that's gonna make me What up guys, it's Mike. It's just me, not Jen. Let's talk about a story that's gonna make you feel good because we need something like that in the world every now and then. Some good news. Um, this is a magical, faded, fabled love story. Do you guys believe in fate? You guys believe yes, in fate? Yes, I, I believe do. like you believe in fate? predestined. Predestined relationships. Yeah. Do you feel like eventually when you meet your significant other, there's gonna be like a, like a, I don't know. There's but like a connection. Rope of destiny, oh, like strings of yeah. destiny attached where you're gonna like, like magically it. find each other. Mm -hmm. Well, it may or may not happen, I hope it does for you, but it did happen to this young lady. She, uh, her name is Ling Xiaofen. Um, she's from Taiwan. And uh, she's been dating her boyfriend, Lian Zhicheng, for about two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she, she, she told him uh, about, she had like a, like a incident where she was in the hospital, she needed a blood transfusion to save her life, she almost died. So she got a bunch of blood, um, and this is kind of curious because she mentioned this to her husband, or to her boyfriend, and he says, well, I donate blood all the time. Maybe you got my blood. And but I, didn't, I did not know, I mean, I donate blood. Um, and uh, so, I, I mean, I, I did not know people could be like, yeah, hey, uh, I want some Mike Chen blood. Or maybe Ugh. maybe you don't because it's, it's I, not I like they asked for it. Yeah, <laughs> she just got it randomly. I know, but I'm just saying like I didn't know like you could identify the person by that pouch of blood. Yeah. So you, I guess you could ask for it. You're like, I want some Mike Chin blood. Yeah, well, that, that sometimes blood is good. like if you're like for example, if that blood I is got filled with hot if oil. I needed oil, I mean, what am I saying? If I if needed it's blood, filled with hot oil, you're getting me messed up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If I needed blood, uh, and then I was sick, and then like you were like, oh, I'll give you some of my blood, then like I could be asking for your blood. But honestly, what are the chances of, of this happening? I mean, it's probably like the chances of winning a lottery or something. This is that fate. you are dating somebody that mm -hmm. saved your blood, yeah. or saved your life with their blood many years ago. That's insane. Unless he yeah. knew many years ago and he stopped. Oh my god, that'd be the craziest. <laughs> that'd be the creepy love, love story. He'd, he'd be like, he'd be outside the hotel room and be like, yo doctor, use my blood. And then like he followed her around for six years. And then he's like, hey, I'm gonna ask her out finally after six years and work up the courage and then be like, hey, That's you know what? Possible. I might have given you my blood. Wink, wink. And then that actually happened. I mean, even if it's creepy, he did save her life, so. Mm -hmm. Well, he, <laughs> Any, I mean, come on! It's, it's not like that was the only blood there. Can I throw some little? Can I throw a little water on the on the? I mean, thing? Like, they're in Taiwan. Taiwan's really small, so maybe it's like, not so small. Is small. There's like five people. Well, it's smaller than like you know the U.S. But there are tons of donors. Yeah, there's. I mean, this is remarkable, remarkable love story. I mean. I'm sure he's not a stalker. I'm sure he's he's. I'm, this is a lovely yeah, I'm couple. Yeah, sure he actually didn't know. And uh, and and this is just this is just crazy. So once you hear that, let me ask you guys this from a girl's perspective: mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if this happened to you, like you guys will basically be putty, mm -hmm. right? You will like anything. The guys, the guy would be like, "Yo, um, I want to get married tomorrow." He'd be like, "Yes." He'd be sure. like, "Yeah." yeah. He'd be like, I mean, "Yo, I want a yeah. cheese sandwich. Go make me one." He'd be like, "Yeah." Yeah. Okay. To say. So there's your tip, guys. If you want to just, just save a girl's life, that's all you gotta do. No matter how long, make sure it's traceable because you don't want it to be like she, she, you know. Oh, you know what this could be? If this was a K drama, you know what this would be? She gets the blood tested, and it's her like, and it's the third guy. It's the third guy that's been chasing after her for like a year, mm -hmm. but she's kind of like, she kind of like, she has a love hate relationship with him, but she's dating this other guy. Then she finds out that the blood that saved her life is actually from the third guy. That's a K drama. You're just making this really. Difficult. I'm just saying that that will be a K drama, and then she will like, she'd be like, oh, that's my love the whole time. He saved my life. That's a movie. I just wrote a perfect screenplay for a great episode of some random K drama. Okay. Hope it comes out. I think so. What do you guys think about that? Uh, anyway, um, let us know what you think about this heartwarming love story. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Bye.